Uh, do you like to party? A rock and roll party. So let's get it started. And it goes like this. Tell me a little bit about the Itchies and uh, how the band came together and how you joined them and all that. Um, started a couple years ago, three and a half years ago, Time, Myself, and Story. The, uh, the incarnation the band's in right now with Brian and uh, Jay is about two years old and that's really where the Itchies have uh, taken some shape. And we've really started to um, try to focus on some of the uh, entertaining, trashier sides of rock, which is, uh, you know, better for the audience uh, you know, than the stand there and play type thing, which is uh, just okay by us. Um, but it's not a, a can of soup, I guess. Um, so we look to bands like uh, the Phantom Surfers, you know, high energy, um, good players, lots of entertainment value. Uh, give the audience something back, you know, have a good time on stage, you know, include the audience in what you're doing, that kind of thing. So, uh, and that's where we're going with it, so. So the Itchies are uh, a cross between kind of a 60s garage and surf, would you say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's two of our primary uh, uh, influences. You know, there's the Dick Dale aspect of it, the father of it all, that it pays respects, and, um, uh, you know, look towards Billy Childish, the rougher side of uh, more like, uh, you know, the head coats, and that type of thing to, to give up that pumped up energy, you know, and the kind of the wild abandon. So that's what we're trying to go to.
mucho de tu casa. The Itchies have an excellent single. I really like it. It's got this great uh, sort of garagey, lo-fi sound. Uh, how did you actually uh, get that sound, and you know, how was the uh, single recorded? Well, we we tried a number of different uh, places of recording and recording styles over the last year and a half, and uh, we finally really um, realized that what we wanted to do was get the sound we have on stage, which we you know we feel we can replicate that pretty much anywhere we go. So we went into a, um, a local studio, Milrat Studios with Tom Buckland, and put us all in the same room, put a couple of room mics in and kind of turned us loose. The uh, first take of Hot Rod Johnny, or the first cut Hot Rod Johnny, was the first take we did. And um, we were really happy with it. We couldn't improve on it. The rest of the stuff was cut um, in a matter of an hour and a half or so. And it's just us, the amps, and a couple of mics. And I think if you come and hear us play and you listen to the song, that's what you're going to hear. You're not going to be, well, if you like it, you won't be disappointed. But, the, it, you know, there's no, uh, there's no mixing overdubs or any of that. I mean, no overdubs, just a little bit of mixing to get things where we liked them. And that was the end of it. So uh, it was straight up rock and roll recorded the way they used to do it.
want to say to uh, New York City watching uh, Retro TV? Uh, we just love Greater Metropolitan New York. What can I say? You know, it's a pleasure to be here. All right. The Itchies. Come see them soon. This is Lo-Fi Lee on Retro TV. Good night. Cool. All That's right. good. Yeah. That was all right. Yeah, very good.